Sky here for Sean and Kevin, world travelers who occasionally go to places you haven't been. In this episode, the boys are in a faraway land. So settle in and welcome to Travel by Numbers. Located off the northern coast of Cuba, in the Jardín del Rey archipelago, is the tropical paradise of Cayo Santa Maria. It's known for its beaches and water sports. And there's plenty of options for active travelers as well, whether you want to kayak, snorkel off the shore, or take a scenic catamaran ride along the coast. We stayed at the number one rated Ibero Star in Sonachos with perfect February weather and two beaches spanning three kilometers. The Iberostar and Sonachos Hotel has a hydrotherapy area in the spa, professional masseurs, and Italian, Japanese, Mediterranean, and Cuban specialty a la carte restaurants. And of course, a buffet. currency is the CUC, Cuban Convertible Peso. Canadian travelers should bring Canadian dollars to exchange to CUC at the resort or a bank. Avoid bringing damaged or ripped bills for exchange. The local language is Spanish, though English is widely spoken in resorts and tourist areas. Playa Ensanachos, or Ensanachos Beach, is very quiet. There are no buildings over on the major part of its length until you reach the villas of the Grand Village section where a snack bar can be found. The guests of Hotel Ibero Star and Sonachos have access to both of these nice beaches. They provide lots of palapas, sun shelters, and beach chairs. The all-inclusive package also includes a beach towel service and non-motorized water sports. Playa El Magano, or Magano Beach, is located on the east side of the hotel, to your right when facing the sea. It's the beach closest to the spa suite and park suite sections of the hotel. There are two accesses to this beach, but we always took the long raised footbridge in front of the main building in the middle of the park and spa sections. There's a restaurant and bar at the beginning of Playa El Magano, and this is where most of the beach activities are held. Santa Maria Airport, aka Santa Clara Airport, is the closest international airport serving Cayo Santa Maria, Cayo Las Brujas, and Cayo Ensanachos. You'll get to your resort over a 48 kilometer causeway. In front of the northeastern end of Playa El Magano, there is a partially sunken barge, which is lying on a sandbar about 230 meters from the shoreline. The wreck has become a habitat for a wide variety of sea life and a must-see destination for this adventurer. Between the shore and the barge, the water depth is pretty shallow. 
depending on the tide, you may be able to either walk or swim to the wreck. On this day, the tide was low, and although fairly windy, I was able to mostly walk out from the shore. Just be careful though, once you get near the barge, the bottom is littered with the odd scrap of metal. Under the surface were scores of colorful fish exploring this man-made haven. Pueblo means village, but in this case it's more like a large shopping and entertainment area, 65,660 square feet, where tourists can find many other options besides the ones offered in their all-inclusive resort, and at a very reasonable cost too. It's also the perfect spot for shopping for the famous Cuban cigars, rums, and local handicraft. 
Cuba is generally a very safe country to visit. In fact, it's one of the safest destinations in all of the Americas, crime rate being very low. Tourism is very important to Cuba's economy, so strict and prominent policing and guarding make the streets and hotels places where tourists usually feel safe. today's episode, please click the like button. And by subscribing and turning notifications on, you'll help us create new content. Thanks for watching. And remember, experiences, not things.